We used to go travel around the country, particularly up the north, because there was a, a keener interest I found. And I'd never heard any of these northern singers before, you know. Yeah. Not down in, in the Brazen Head or, or in uh, Taylor's Hall. You get, I'd hear the occasional singer from that Liam would bring down, you know. Uh, but then when we went up to the north and started hearing the men mass, they were very high quality, I have to say. And uh, I was used to be more enamoured by the, uh, the northern singers. For some reason or other, I can't explain, you know what I mean, than I was by people from, we say, Cork or Kerry. For some strange reason, I identified more with the northern singers and their songs, mm. you know. Uh, first of all, they rarely sang in Irish. That's not the reason I was more enamored to them, but they, they rarely sang in Irish that we were exposed to, the northern singers, you know. And, of course, I didn't know the Irish. I still don't know it. But I took more to the Northern singers, you know, the Paddy Tunnies and uh, Sir Anne O'Neill and I heard Geordie, I heard him on numerous occasions when I went up there. Uh, what do you call him? Uh, Eddie Butcher yeah. and all those people, you know, and um, on record. Um, what do you call it, Mrs. Makem, mm. and those sort of singers. I was I was amazed by the the quality of their singing, you know, and the type of songs that they sang. Yeah, uh, I, I always felt that uh, their songs were more of a poetic nature, yeah. you know. There was more poetry in their songs, you know, than the songs from. Uh, the southern half of the country that I was exposed to, you know. That mightn't be, a, a, in fact, a fact, but for me, that's yeah. as regards to singing. Well, of course, originally people would have sung in their local styles, but those people just, as I say, the Tom Lenehans and the Geordie Hannas and the Sarah O'Neills and the, the Keens out in Galway, the Keen sisters and people from the south, they sang in the local style and they were they learned in their local style. But that all began to change, of course, when these people died off. There wasn't that many around still singing in their style, but people were learning the songs because they couldn't always see the older singers anymore from the recordings, you know, from their records. And... Uh, Thank God for the records, because if we hadn't got the records, the old LPs of these singers, we just wouldn't know what they were like. And it is the next best thing to, it's like being in the room with them. But um, I don't believe in singing in another, in another person's style. I never did. No matter how well you admired them, It's wrong to imitate them. If you're born in that area and it's part of your growing up of the way you speak and the way you sing, that's fair enough. But deliberately copying someone, uh, I think is wrong. It's wrong for that person. They're not doing themselves justice, you know. And every person, as far as I'm concerned, should just sing in their own natural voice. You can learn a lot from listening to the old singers, their intonation, their, their way they uh, express themselves, whether it's a dramatic part of the song or it's a sad part of the song or whatever. You can learn that, but not to imitate it. What I think worst, the worst sin, sin among sinners is listening to people, and there's friends of mine do it, Sing with a Scottish accent. That has nothing to do with the way they speak themselves. It, it's so apparent, you know, to me.
and I don't think you do the song any justice. I'd rather see a pers- person Englishing. That's what I've, I've done myself. I want to. I'd English a Scottish song if I could, you know, and I just sing it with my own accent, rather than try to imitate a Scottish accent. I think that's an unforgivable sin, and I'd say that in front of anybody. 